Hi guys, welcome back on the channel Venia Speaks Tech. Venia here, VST. The video today is going to be about setting up the secure folder on the Samsung Android smartphone. All right, secure folder can protect your data and make secure copies of your applications. If you want to find out how you can protect your sensitive information, like personal notes, personal contacts, applications, personal videos, personal photos, and you don't know about this, then make sure that you watch this video. This is a very useful feature built inside the One UI 3.1. Of course, you're gonna find it also on the One UI 3.0 and also on all the versions from One UI. All right, guys, let me just start by setting a secure folder. We're gonna do it together with you. I'm gonna do the whole process from the very beginning, take some pictures and some videos try to move them to the secure folder so that I can show you how easy it is for you to set it up, to access it. And at the end of this video, you will really know how to use the secure folder. All right, so buckle up and let's start. This is a picture that I took this morning and it is the perfect place to start setting up the secure folder. Namely, just open your gallery and open any random picture, okay? Then you can press here the three dots and you can choose the move to secure folder. Very easy, press move to secure folder and then boom, welcome to secure folder, right? So this is really where we do start. You have to agree with the terms, wait a bit and then make sure that you lock with your Samsung account. Creating secure folder, add files easily, keep your apps secure, right? It's gonna take some time for the phone to set up everything and then we're gonna get started. I'm gonna teach you how to access the secure folder, how to make sure that you configure it in the best way. All right, now this picture is already gone from my gallery. Now, if I go back to my gallery, this picture is not there. But how do you access secure folder? Click on the secure folder, wait a bit, and now you need to set up your lock protection. You can go for pattern, you can go for pin, and you can go for a password. So pattern would be medium security, PIN will be medium to high and password will be the high security. I'm gonna go for the pattern right now for the test and you can also enable biometrics, which means fingerprints and also the option to reset it with your Samsung account. I'm gonna go for pattern, I'm gonna press next and now I'm going to set up like this random pattern and this pattern guys, I'm gonna redraw it. This pattern here is gonna be my activation pattern to the secure folder. Now, what you see on the screen is actually the secure folder. It does look a bit weird because you see your gallery, your calendar, your contacts, the camera, the internet, my files and Samsung notes, but then you see also this lock here. What happens when we press the gallery? You open the gallery, but only have access right now to the items that are secure, right? So this picture right now will not be available in my regular gallery. It will be only available into the secure folder. If you wanna move it back, you can just click these three dots and select move out of security folder. Wait a bit and then moving items out of security folder and boom, right now I don't have anything. I can go back to the security folder, I can open the camera and I can do a photo. So let me just try to do a nice photo, all right? Boom, this very nice flower. I think it's from Amsterdam. No, it's from the Czech Republic, from Praga. So kudos and respect and greetings to all my viewers from the Czech Republic, all right. Now guys, I'm gonna go outside of my gallery. I'm gonna go inside gallery of my time and we can see here that I have this picture right there. But what happens if I go outside and I go into my regular gallery? The picture of the coffee is there, but when I go inside, there will be no picture of this flower. Let's go back to the secure folder, okay, secure folder. Let's click on the contacts right now. Once you're inside guys, you can add contacts from your other account. So if I click here, I can add my Google account and I can have my contacts from the Google account inside the secure folder, All right? Calendar works exactly in the same way. We have camera, I already showed you. We have here also internet, which means that everything we browse from the browser here is only going to be stored into your secure folder. Very useful. Then we have my files. When you click on my files, you're gonna get access only to the files that are into the secure folder. So if I go into internal storage and I go to DCM and I go to the camera folder, I will only see this protected picture here. This is very, very useful. And of course, if you would have to happen some files moved from the download folder to the secure folder, they are also going to appear here. But let's actually try to do this. So I'm gonna go outside of my security folder. I'm gonna go now to files, okay, my files. 
all right gonna go to downloads all right and then let's try to move the advanced manager apk i'm gonna click here all right and i'm gonna click on the three dots here and i'm going to choose move to secure folder now the manager apk is being moved to the secure folder it is gone from here and if i would go back to my secure folder and i'll be choosing my files you see in download i have now the option to access it and then again you see there is also this little lock here when you go back to the secure folder you have also access to samsung notes which means that every note you take is going to be secured here now guys you can also click here and you can press settings and in the settings you can choose and tweak the lock and the security so right now i have patterns and also fingerprints let me just choose my pattern i can change it again to pin or choose a password right you can also make the pattern not visible let me just show you guys right right now my pattern you see it's not visible it's very handy by the way okay you have also the options to auto lock the secure folder lock automatically when screen turns off which means that when you leave your phone and the screen turns off it is locked you can go there and you can actually trick this one set it up to each time when i leave the app when the screen turns off or you know when the phone restarts now the most secure settings will be this one here each time when i lift the app all right then you have notifications and data right you can show content show notifications and applications let me show how you can lock the secure folder you can press here and then you can go to lock and exit and then you're going to get a message secure folder locked now if i want to go back guys see i am opening the secure folder and i either need to use the fingerprint or i can go and use Spartan and i can access it it's very nice what about adding applications all right you have a plus button here when you press this plus button here guys you can access all of your applications but let me try to show you how this works because here there is a very important settings let's say that we want to secure aliexpress i'm just selecting aliexpress i'm adding it all right so now aliexpress is going to be added here in my secure folder when i open it you know i'll be able to register okay and use it let's say with my hidden account the important thing here is that when you go outside guys aliexpress still will remain on your phone but you're gonna have like two copies you're gonna have one copy working with your regular account and when you go back into your secure folder you can use this one with different settings so let me just try to go back into the secure folder right secure folder okay i'm using this time my fingerprint and now i have aliexpress all right let's go back here to the settings okay settings general applications from applications you are able to fine-tune the applications you can also add your other accounts like google office and etc and there are also more settings full screen applications samsung pass the idea behind this is like if you would have a phone inside the phone all right now something very important guys if you are fed up with the security folder you can go to more settings and you can actually uninstall it by hitting uninstall everything is going to get restored all of your pictures guys and videos that are hidden are gonna go back to your regular gallery so just please note that one all right so that you're not surprised okay let's see here about secure folder you can check the latest version right let me just show something else if we click here the three dots you have something called customize from customize guys you can change the icon so let's say right now i don't want it it's so obvious that i use this icon with the secure folder and i can put something like vst folder let me just go there or just like vst and then i can choose you know like this heart right i'm gonna apply that one the idea of this of course is privacy now if you go here you're gonna see i have a folder called vst nobody knows i know and you know of course i can get inside now there are some caveats if somebody will take your phone and have access you know and they can try to type secure folder they're gonna see that actually this is your secure folder but nevertheless it still provides some level of customization it is indeed a very nice and useful feature guys you can conceal and hide your videos your photos your calendar events some contacts and I think browsing history, files, and also applications. And of course, the best thing is it really comes stuck directly on your Samsung phones. I just realized that my cat has been here the whole time. I'm not sure. I have to charge her for that. She's not paying anything for this free advertisement. With that said, guys, right? If you like the content I'm doing, a sub will be much appreciated. Stay safe and healthy. You and your families, guys, gonna catch up in one of my next videos. Until then, VST over and bye.